This podcast encourages and empowers you to create your own unique real story, develop your own unique real statement, and discover your own unique real self. The power is yours. Good afternoon, good afternoon, Judy Salas. How are you doing on this wonderful, beautiful day? I am doing awesome. Thank you for asking. Yeah, it's a great pleasure to connect with you. What part of the world are you in right now? I'm in upstate New York, right. northeast United States. Yep. All right. The episode before yours is going to be in New York as well. I just came from New York virtually as well. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Okay. New York yeah. in the house. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, do tell me which of your talents is responsible for us meeting at this time. Graphic design. My um, my business coach is, uh, you know, training me up in the world of business. And it was graphic design that brought me to him and he brought me to you. So Ooh, here we are. What's his name? That's Anthony English. Ooh, the A.E. Yeah. guy. Wow. Yeah, this <laughs> he's, guy. He's wow. awesome. Yeah, yes. this guy is good. Ooh, he's <laughs> good. Yeah. It's oh, wonderful. Yeah. Well done, Anthony. All right. Well, let's see how good he is. So who did you learn the skills of graphic artists from? Uh, you know, I can't nail it down to one person, Angel, because I've I've learned from so many people. Obviously, you know, I did my college days, um, and I've actually been involved in art since I was a little, little girl, starting with copying what my brother was doing because he was gifted. Um, and then it just took off from there all throughout my school career. I was an artist and uh, professionally doing it uh, through graphic design. And, you know, creativity, it's really just the compilation of ideas uh, presented in an original way. So for me to just nail it down to one person, I can't do that. <laughs> so much. Well, so many people. Well, that's great. Now, your creativity looks really well, right? So I saw on your LinkedIn profile that, like, I love graphics, right? So please excuse me, oh. amazing audience, while I dig into this. So, like, you designed your uh, header on LinkedIn and your your top ladies call it them tops like your I would I almost said t-shirt right I'm so naive <laughs> right as a guy but yes your top that you're wearing is almost the same color uh, of, yeah <laughs> of that. yeah like, yeah I, I do have a tendency to, you know, try to pull colors in from everywhere and, and give it uh, one one good, strong identity. So, yes, thank you for noticing. No, well, definitely. No, there's a lot going on there. No, there's one other color in there. Like, I, no, folks, you should see this. Like, she, she seems to be very good, right? Uh, but there's <laughs> colors on the left-hand side that looks like when you look through glass, like stained glass, if you would. Uh, like, what were you thinking when you put that in there? Um, you know what? I'm not looking at it right now, and but I can say that I did not have stained glass on the mind okay. <laughs> when I put it together. Okay. But there is an image, uh, you know, in that header, there is an image of me holding um, uh, printed work with, with all the print markings on it. So really what I was going for was just the personal touch. Mm, sweet. Love it. All right. So where's the best place for people that are listening now that I've described this at no end uh, to find more of what you do? Well, I am on LinkedIn, but they can find me at my website at highrealmgraphics.com. And there is a link there uh, to my Behance portfolio, which they can, uh, you know, access to view more work by me. Wonderful. Do you do illustration as well? Not so much of an illustrator. I'm more of a raster graphic type person, which means that I deal more with um, photos and pixels versus uh, vector illustrations. All right. Now, in Trinidad, if you said you're a rasta, you know, we would have said, okay, you had dreadlocks, but I guess <laughs> it, it means something else, doesn't it? <laughs> well, I had cornrows once. <laughs> <laughs> That's close enough. But that was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, do tell me one other thing that you've done consistently over the last three years, please. Now, does this have to be business related? No, it could be fun. I like it when it's fun. All right. Well, one thing I've done consistently for the last three years is hug and kiss my three sons goodnight every oh, single night. Wow. How every does that night. make you feel? It, it, it makes me feel loved and it makes me feel confident that I'm giving love. And it's, 
it's the best feeling ever. Mm. <laughs> that's amazing. Now, suggest to someone that's listening. I mean, the busy, the busy business person who doesn't have a time in the like that to just do that, right? As much as it takes only like one minute, right? Why would you suggest to them they do that? Well, it's one of those things, you know, that you, uh, maybe this is just my opinion, but you've got to prioritize that sort of thing. You've got to prioritize the relationships in your life, uh, especially family. And if, if you can't currently take a minute out to do that, you really need to figure out what it is that you can pull back on so you can give to that portion of your life. It's important. Love it. Amazing audience. Again, you're hearing it live from Judy Salas. You can connect with her. She is the owner of High Realm Graphics. Judy, let's switch gears for a moment now. Let me invite you into my time machine. You're surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Judy, mm. what is your earliest childhood memory? My earliest childhood memory? Um, I was a baby. And I remember my mother was holding me. We were standing in the threshold between my um, my kitchen and my, uh, excuse me, my parents' kitchen and the dining room. And she was introducing me to a friend of hers. So she handed me off to her friend. And her friend started talking to me in the, you know, the motherese sort of language, the, uh, you know, uh, Oh, I did get your little baby. Aren't you so cute? <laughs> <laughs> and I remember it absolutely drove me nuts when she did that. It actually made me angry. It made me angry. So I started screaming and crying till she gave me back to my mother. Wow, how old are you then? I I was a baby. I mean, I I want I feel like it was my first time back home from the hospital. Um, or my first time home from the hospital, but, uh, I, I can't say for sure, obviously, but yeah, I was, I was young, <laughs> why do you still think being cradled. Why do you think this memory is so clear? Um, I think it, uh, it, it was, it was a manifestation of a really strong part of my, my personality type because I just want people to be real with me. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't have to be a clown to get me to like you. <laughs> Just be real, be honest, be who you are. That's amazing. All right, all right, all right. So here I go. Can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind with that memory? Sure. I think like as much as what she said, I'm guessing was powerful. I'm guessing the graphical display as well really didn't represent deep within your consciousness what she meant which is super cool that you're a graphic artist and what you do is help people understand through display of imagery uh what Mm -hmm. they would like represented yeah yeah that's great that's a that's a great thought wow so yeah there's the language and then there's the facial and then there's you screaming Bad, bad <laughs> graphics, bad graphics. <laughs> wow, wow that's, that's that's powerful. Thank you. You're welcome. That's amazing. Wow. If we fast forward to when you were 12 years old, what was your favorite song? 12 years old, my favorite song. Wow. I um, Well, I'm a musician too, so I've had a lot of favorite songs, a lot of favorite artists. But I want to say around that time, it was probably Alone from the band Heart. All right, all right, yeah. All right. All right, my friend. Well, we've arrived at our destination, but before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form. So it's yes or no. We're going to move pretty quickly here. Are you ready, Jody? Sure. Go ahead. Jody, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Yeah, my youngest son is very artistic. He loves to create and he's already sat down with Adobe Photoshop and learned many of the uh, basic skills basic tools wow how old is he at the time of this recording he is nine wow that's great Ooh, (laughs) yeah i can imagine what he will do Hmm. (laughs) are you married i'm not i uh, i'm actually divorced okay so you have three children three boys do you believe in god Mm -hmm. yes i do with all my heart do you have an inner circle of friends I um, I serve with a group of people at my church. Um, we are on the musical team, and they are, I would say, probably my closest circle of friends. Hmm. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? 
No. How about three hours a week? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yes. I love how you said that. <laughs> 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 Did you sing as well? Do you sing as well? Uh, yeah, actually, I'm probably more of a singer than I am a graphic designer. <laughs> yes. That note that you just made is pretty challenging to me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What songs have you sung so far? Um, well, I've, I've sung so much, you know, I used to be a professional musician. I did it for 15 years. I opened for the band Foreigner way back in 2002, uh, recorded some songs. So there are a lot of them. I actually did cover the song, uh, Heart by Alone As well. and wow. one of, yeah, I won a battle of the bands with that. Is that available on YouTube? No, no, it was, it was Long. It was about the time when YouTube was starting, so we hadn't actually got onto YouTube yet. Is there somewhere we can go to listen to you? Um, there is. I do have some music on SoundCloud. Okay, and we just type in Jody Salas, and we'll find that. Yes, uh, actually, Jody Lynn Salas. So J O D I L Y N. Okay. All right, definitely would like to check that out. All right, so we're in the time machine and we did, we're on the declaration form. This has never really happened before, but yeah, your vo that that particular tone, that note that you, yeah, was pretty intriguing. <laughs> yes, of course I didn't do it as much justice as you, but I'll check out your music. <laughs> definitely looking Excellent. forward to that. All right, so what about screen time, the phone and the computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I I have to wear my gunner optic glasses because I'm looking at the screen pretty much probably 12 hours a day between wow. graphic design, yeah, and just personal computer stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, my friend. Well, if you had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents who you are, Jody Salas, what would you say that is? <sighs> I I I mean the the closest thing I can come to, Angel is be loving toward people because that's 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 who I am and that's what I want to see other people doing. I mean it's it's so hard in this world because we have you know it's it's a cursed world. It's it's hard and people are not uh people are not kind, but I think it's so important that uh, you know, as it pertains to your own character, that we have to be patient with people. We have to be kind. Um, you know, not envy others, not boast, not be proud. Don't dishonor others. Don't don't be self seeking, and don't be quick to be angry. Um, don't keep records of wrongs. Mm -hmm. Don't delight in evil. Rejoice with the truth. Protect, trust, hope, persevere, and. You know, love, whether it's with people you're around, whether it's your family or whether it's dealing with people in business, it's never going to fail. Hmm. So be loving toward people. Sounded like Corinthians 13. That's the one. There we go. Jody Salas again. This was a great pleasure. Thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This segment has been brought to you by Amazel Enterprise.